بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له أشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Welcome everybody again in another live session uh, during our home quarantine and in Ramadan Today's uh, session is going to be about patience You know, as the days go on and alternate and as the end of the month becomes uh, nearer some people start losing their patience and uh, they start getting irritated and everything and anything can get them upset and the month of Ramadan is described as the month of patience uh, because the person has to persevere through this entire month withholding and refraining from things that he desires uh, in order to achieve the objective of لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ perhaps that you might attain piety uh, Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali rahmatullah alayhi said uh, the best type of patience is fasting because it combines all three types of patience. Patience has three types. He said fasting is the best type of patience because it combines all three kinds. Number one, it's to be patient in performing the act of obedience. The commandments of Allah and in this case it is the command to fast number two is to be patient in refraining what is haram what Allah restricted and that is the restrictions during the day of eating drinking and sexual intercourse with one spouse plus other th other sins that one is supposed to uh, and is instructed to refrain from whether fasting or outside Ramadan but it is more emphasized during fasting and the third type is to be patient when receiving the decree of Allah Azza wa Jal and in this case the pain they're referring in this third type to the decrees that have suffering involved in them and in this case, in Ramadan, in fasting, the, the pain of hunger, the pain of thirst, uh, accompanies usually uh, the uh, fasting person and the, the body is weakened. And therefore, that's the third type that is involved or included rather in uh, Ramadan and in fasting. So, rightfully so, as Ibn Rajab said, it does include all three types of patience and therefore it is the best type of patience. Now, let's give some reminders that are related to patience in Ramadan. Number one, uh, it is only with patience that a slave can go through life and tolerate the difficulties he, f he faces, whether physical or psychological or emotional, this is general in, <coughs> excuse me, this is general in life. And otherwise, if one does not go, go through life with patience, and in particular in Ramadan, it becomes difficult for him to, uh, to draw nearer to Allah Azza wa Jal and to achieve lofty ranks and reach objectives that are high. Uh, it is only through patience that a, uh, a slave becomes enslaved to Allah alone and not to anything else and in this case to desires and wishes and and the only way in achieving that servitude purely to Allah Azza wa Jal is by being patient. طيب. The second point is that 
Patience enables the person in Ramadan to fulfill his obligations to Allah Azza wa Jal and train himself through this training course of one full month and therefore become stronger and it enables him to better face difficulties in life and challenges in life and temptations when they arise or appear uh, because it is with patience or through patience uh, that the slave is enabled to strive against his own self. As Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا Those who strive for our cause, we will guide them to our path. The path of servitude to Allah Azza wa Jal, the path of adherence to commandments of Allah, to the commandments of Allah Azza wa Jal. The next point is that Ramadan is like a school, a training school to reform our manners, our behavior, our conduct with others. The slogan of the fasting person is, as the Prophet ﷺ instructed us to say in Nisa'in, I am fasting. In face of any harm, any evil, any transgression against your rights, anyone who wrongs you, your slogan is Inni Sa'im. Now, a lot of people don't understand that simply resorting to saying Inni Sa'im, I am fasting, this Inside it is a lot of patience that makes you stop at in Nisa'im and not to retaliate and not to react and not to go after taking your right or retrieving your rights. That involves a huge amount of patience that will constrain you from having to react and follow your desire of getting back at those who wrong you. So, it is only patience that will enable us in Ramadan, and of course outside Ramadan, to control our uh, emotions, our feelings, our temper, and our limbs and our bodies. A lot of people are, by nature, hot-tempered. Ramadan comes and trains them to calm down, to put a valve, and to close this valve as much as possible because at the end of the day it takes some training and tolerate people's behaviors. The Prophet ﷺ stated in as reported by Ibn Majah, and it's classified as authentic by Al-Albani. He said, describing the best type of people. He said, the believer who mixes with people and perseveres through their harm is better than a, be than a believer who does not mix with people. He refrains because some people know that they're weak. They know their weak point. I'm impatient, I'm hot-tempered. So if I go and mix with people, someone may intimidate me and then I will react. Well, the Prophet ﷺ said that the first person, the first type of people who mix and persevere through the harm that they receive is better than the type that refrains Though he is refraining just so that he does not react or commit a sin or something. And that's a, a direct call from the Prophet ﷺ to us to be patient. And in Ramadan, it's more emphasized. Ramadan uh, is a means of us realizing how insignificant 
this life, this worldly life is. And to have our eyes at the Akhirah, to have our hearts connected to the Akhirah and uh, give up this dunya. Because it is only with patience that you win against yourself, your own self, our low selves that are inclined to dunya because of the comfort and the our wishes and desires and the glitters of this life and the wealth and women and children. Human nature is inclined towards that. And it takes effort, it takes patience for one to be able to get this out of his heart or her heart, extract it, uproot it, and replace it with the, the attachment to the Akhirah. Ramadan is an opportunity to cultivate our, fam our family, those whom we're entrusted to raise upon Islam. And Ramadan, with patience, enables us to fulfill this responsibility and duty. It is only through patience that the guardian can go through cultivating his loved ones, wife and children, or whoever else is under his guardianship. Because it take, it's, a, it's a challenge, especially nowadays, raising children, cultivating the family has become a challenge. It's become much tougher than before, than the times of our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents, things were much simpler. Now it is complex. These smart devices, internet, all of these things, they add. It, beca it becomes more difficult. And it's a challenge. And this challenge, for us to be able to face it, fathers and mothers, guardians, the only way you can face this and counter it is by training yourself on being patient. And with this, you can fulfill this trust. And when you're questioned by Allah Azza wa Jal, you can answer and give the right answer. The last point is be tolerant, be lenient. The uh, Prophet وسلم, gave us a means of fulfilling the best level of Iman, the best level of faith. When he was asked about Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was asked about the best level or type of faith, he said, it is when you combine patience with lenience then you have achieved and obtained the top, the best type of faith any believer can uh, obtain. Some may say, well, Brother Hazim, I am, I am really impatient. I am really hot-tempered. Well, that can change. It's not something that is a default and it's fixed and it does not change and it cannot be changed. That's not my opinion, and these are not my words. The Prophet وسلم, said, and this is stated in Al-Bukhari. He said, whoever trains himself, forces himself, whoever trains or forces himself, Allah Azza wa Jal will enable him to become patient. And then he said, no one was given anything, no one was gifted anything greater or better than patience. So, let us train ourselves. Again, this is an opportunity. A lot of things we must refrain from because of Ramadan and because we're fasting. So it's a chance to change. You're impatient, you're hot-tempered, it's 
a golden opportunity. We still have half of the month. It's not too late. That's a lot of days. 15 days are a lot. You can do a lot. You can achieve a lot. You can accomplish a lot. If you're willing, if you're determined, if you're sincere, if you're truthful with yourself, that's achievable, inshallah, with the help of Allah, it is achievable. And let's just remember that the reward for patience is something that has no limit for its magnitude and amount. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ the patient will be given their recompense, their reward with no limit. You know, when, it, when something is limitless, it is a lot when we're talking about, amongst ourselves as human beings. When Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us that, it's beyond perception what the reward is for those who are patient. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us amongst them and to enable us to change ourselves to improve and be if we're not. With this we conclude and I would just, just like to uh, remind that today is Friday and we are approaching the last hour of the day which is the best hour of the day and it is the hour when we're promised that our supplications will be answered, will be honored by Allah, will be responded to by Allah Azza wa Jal. So after this session is over, after we finish the question and answer session, I encourage every brother and sister, whether single or married, to connect with Allah Azza wa Jal. Your children, train them, take them, put them in a spot, say, Son, daughter, raise your hands. Ask Allah anything that you want. It's a very, very precious hour. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to utilize it. Allahumma ameen. And with this we conclude the session. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.